this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. This is my weekend vlog. I had actually already recorded a, a vlog for you for today. This is Saturday. It's already, I think, 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Is it? Yeah, it's already 5 p.m. So we got up early. We went to go have breakfast. There's a little gnat flying around inside my kitchen. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, um, <laughs> we went to go have breakfast and then we went to grab a few things. We went to Hobby Lobby and uh, we came home and we finished some of the work that we were doing outside. So that's what I was vlogging. Not my breakfast or the Hobby Lobby part, but I did vlog um, what we were doing outside. And then uh, prior to that, I had been, a few days before that, I had done like a, a video kind of like so that would be a big old montage to put together for today what I had been vlogging about was the outdoor fence uh, the, the private fencing that we had put outside and I spoke about that in my last weekend I spoke about it that we're having a private fence because we had hedges all along for years uh, pretty much as we built the house um, my husband had planted hedges all along like 40 something hedges little plants and then they grew and they're huge and they always have to be trim always have to be cut but these hedges grew to be about four almost four feet wide four feet is well three feet is like from my fingers to my shoulder and then another 12 inches or so that's about four feet so that's how wide they were my goodness guys uh outdoors there's all these little gnats i don't know if you guys are experiencing that but here in texas uh the heat out there and i don't know the humidity or something there's a ton of gnats out there and some of them came in. We've been in and out, in and out. But anyway, I had videotaped before the hedges came out just to show them again because I had already shown them in a, in a garden video, but that was last year. Uh, so I just showed the, the hedges, how they were gonna come out. And then I sh showed how they were being pulled out. I went out there and I snuck myself out there. Well, this man was out there pulling them out and showing the how it looked with them already gone. And then when they had first put the posts for the fence and how much more space we were gonna have because the hedges were gone and the fence could now be actually a little bit further out. Um, but anyway, that's what I had vlogged. And then of course we came home today and we decided, my husband decided he was gonna do some cleaning up of some area in the back, back here, uh, behind our storage room and uh, the fence now. So I went out there to help him and I was feeling really good about helping him out. I was out there for a while, I cleared a little area. So um, I did that, but the thing is that I was doing all that with my phone. I don't know why I've been doing that with my phone. I think it's because I didn't want to use the battery on my camera because I needed that for my other videos. And I only have one battery for my camera. So I didn't want to use up that and then forget to like charge it. So I was using my phone and everything was fine. I finished my vlog. It was like about two o'clock today. My goodness, I keep hearing something in my ear. But anyway, I was came inside relax I said okay I'm gonna upload my videos from my camera I mean from my phone camera to my laptop and I don't know something happening with, with the app it keeps freezing up on me like it finds all the videos and pictures but it doesn't go any further than that for me to select what I want to upload into my laptop Oops, sorry <laughs> that's a little sneezing going on in the background uh, probably from all the allergies out there my husband just barely came in a while ago and to take a shower and so now I'm going to be making dinner anyway. But yeah, all that just didn't want to do. I spent a couple of hours frustrated restarting my laptop to see if maybe that would help. I got like four little videos, but they were like the end ones where I'm saying, okay, well, the thumbs up to me, whatever. Anyway, but um, one of them was a repeat because I did like a, a stop, started over again. So, you know, one of those videos, I didn't even need them anyway. So I only got like three little videos. And then I tried like emailing those videos to myself so that I could grab them from my laptop but it keeps telling me the files are too big and they're like a minute and something and one of them's even like 45 seconds and it still won't let me do that so i don't know what's going on you guys so i said okay that's lost i'm not going to worry about it i can't get it on my laptop to edit a video out of that so i decided well you know what i'm just going to show everybody how it looks so i'll show you that right now and then i'll be back all right, since I lost all my footage, I just want to show you the nice fence that's been put out here. And actually, right here, where these plants are, right along this line right here, and uh, there's a water sprinkler right here. A little line of water sprinkler. 
right along here is where all of our hedges were. It took about four feet of space all the way down, all the way here and around behind this tree and all the way along there and then cutting, you know, halfway into our yard before you get to the front, halfway into our house right here. So that's all, that was all hedges that all got taken out and then this fence got put in. Really nice. Driveway back here and then there's more fence that way. There's gonna be a gate that's gonna be made there. That gate's gonna like roll into here and then close like that, roll out. But that's gonna be a while before that gets done. But this is done. And then back here in these little corners here, I want to put some wood, create some little like little corner shelves and put some little pots there. So I was actually out here and I showed you the before, but of course that's all gone. <laughs> so this is the after uh, kind of, we've been stepping on it and walking on it. Uh, but all this, I cleaned up all this and helped my husband. And then he pulled out like more roots that were coming out from the hedges that were here. And there's actually one big one right there that get, needs to be taken out. Uh, but it's a lot of work. So we've stopped. Well, I've stopped. He's still doing stuff. And then he trimmed some branches off that tree. But yeah, I want to put a little corner right here. Besides the little shelves, I want to make this like a little corner right here. Uh, you know those little like, plastic edging that you put you know to kind of uh, separate you know some garden area with like grass area I want to put a little corner there fill it up with little rocks and put all my succulents and you know those type of plants out here and then of course right here on the edge because this was further out this was a this was a whole big area we still have these plants that need to be taken out but we're not going to do that right now and then I've got this one too that needs to be replanted somewhere else this tree's obviously going to stay, and then these plants are going to stay. And these are coming off the edge of our, our storage room. These are going to stay. We're going to trim them, make them look nice. Because what I want to do is when we come back here, we can walk through here and come back here. And I actually have a, uh, sorry, a little table right here that I paint on and spray paint things. And then I also use it for planting things. So I get my dirt on there and plants and pots and things like that. That's actually going to get brought and placed like right along here. And then I'm going to put something here so that when I spray paint it doesn't get on there. But my husband's going to be able to do a little lattice, kind of a blocking thing right here. Also in the meantime, uh, because we don't have the gate there yet and we don't want somebody coming in through here. Even though we have cameras out here to see things, you know, still, you never know. Uh, but we're going to put like a little lattice uh, wall there. And so this is going to be like a little private area and then we have a little table here and I can work on here and we can have, you know, like all our pots and things like that back here. And you won't see them so that when we're out in the yard, we don't see all that mess. Do a lot of, a lot of little ideas that we want to do to fix things around like in our pergola because now we have all that space on this side of it. See all these plants here? Like, like this, this structure here that my dad built, I'm gonna push it back and put some stuff on it. And so I need to push, I, I might make a corner of this as well. And as long as those plants are within there, like this one and this one within here, that needs to be replanted or transplanted. I have that that needs to be transplanted and that. But this little pomegranate tree is gonna stay here because I feel like it needs uh, us to be able to like, walk around it if it gets any bigger any day <laughs> years from now uh, so that's going to stay there and this is where we used to set out the barbecue pit and there's a little table to work on but he's going to he's going to demolish his table uh take it down uh i think he's going to recycle all that and instead uh back here because we can walk behind here we, we were i was able always able to walk through here but not over here because this is all hedges with fences and such but I have this little plant here, which I can't even remember what it is. And then I have this little palm here. And you gotta keep in mind, there was hedges right here. But now that's gonna get transplanted, and so does this. Because this whole area right here, we wanna do that, have this be our little barbecue section. And let me turn around the other way. Turn around, sorry. We wanna do like a little 
a little roof here, a little tin roof, so that when he's out here with the barbecue pit, the rain's not falling on it. And that little table that's over there that Terry we're gonna demolish, he's thinking about rebuilding it here or maybe just making a whole new, like a little counter coming off the edge of the of that there. So we're gonna clean up everything under in here in our pergola. The only thing that's gonna stay is obviously this grapevine and this lattice. But we want to clean up all these plants from here. So I want to put that way over there in that corner over there. That's what I want to do. So let's continue on this way because this was all hedges. All hedges. This tree, this Texas wild olive is going to stay there. But these citrus ones here that were planted so close together. Uh, before spring or early spring, I want to have somebody come and dig those out. Put one here, one here, leave this corner free, and then put one right there. So that's what I want to have done with those. So obviously this is not something that's going to get done right away. It's going to be time. And then here's a gate that goes to the front yard. Big wide five foot gate. But that's the fence, you guys. It's a, I think it's six feet high. So that's pretty good. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I'm going to go inside and make some dinner. Okay, so I showed you that. Now, I don't know how good a quality that is because it's so super sunny. I felt like I couldn't even look to see where I was going or see what was on my viewfinder or my camera. So I hope I got some good footage of that. All right, so I'm just making dinner now, you guys. It's, it's after 5 p.m. and my husband is hungry, so am I. I've actually been hungry for a little while, but you know, I'm so frustrated from my videos. What I have here, these are Texas toast. They're in the frozen section of my grocery store. They've already got some butter. What do they have on them? These are just Texas toast garlic. It's a garlic flavor. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these and toast them up in the oven. I don't want all of them. Just one piece for each of us. Since we're kind of cutting down on stuff. Excuse me. Put this back in this box. And I wish I had one of those little things where it like it locks into itself. I'll figure this out. Okay, so there we go. Two of those are going into the oven. And I've already got some water boiling here. So it's just going to be something really simple. It's not even really a recipe. Oh, by the way, we went to, I mentioned we went to Hobby Lobby. I've got a little candle here, you guys, because I figured maybe the, my husband was here in here too. And he was saying, oh, little gnats, you know, bo they were bothering him. He was trying to get some water. I don't know, maybe the, the, the smoke from the candle's helping because I haven't had any bugging me or maybe they, they're they gone, I don't know. But anyway, I, well, I'm not gonna speak too soon here. We were Hobby Lobby this earlier today, before lunch, actually, early in the day, the morning. Got some items. Look at this, guys. This one's making all that noise. It's like a trot. Oh, a metal trough. This was half off, so it was like, how much was it? <laughs> it was $24.99. It was $12.50 was what it came out to. So I think that's pretty nice. I'm, I don't know yet what I'm going to put in it. We're thinking it's going to go here on the island and we're going to put some stuff on it, but I'm thinking that after the holidays, um, I could put it on that wall over there where I have some plates and then maybe put some greenery hanging off of it instead. Okay. That way, and then I got a couple more items. I'm trying not to <laughs> get anything in the flame there. Oh, here's my receipt. Yeah, it was $12.49 for that trough. We're gonna call it a trough. And I saw this. I have this dream that we're gonna find a barn and move into it. So <laughs> that's what I keep telling my husband. And so he saw this. He said, Oh look, inspiration. So there we go. There's our little our barn. Okay. It's, it's a little metal kind of a little hanging decor. It's a Christmas item also. This was half off. Well, I don't know if that was Christmas. I think that was from the fall, the fall collection. You put it in the middle of a table and put stuff in it too. It would be really nice. And then I bought a candle. And I think last week or the week before I had bought a candle at Hobby Lobby that I put on my mantle. It was a taller one. And then I saw the shorter one. Oh. It's crab apple cider. 
Look at how pretty the colors are. And I feel like these colors can go into Christmas, so that's why I got it. And I grabbed a smaller one because I have a taller one, so I have a smaller one. This one was originally $7.99. I got it for 4 bucks. Anyway, I like to save these papers that they wrap my stuff on. Because when I'm painting some items, this is great for putting it on the table so I don't get stuff all over the place. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so I've got some water. got my toast in the oven. Uh, I just put it in there. I just turned on the oven, so I wasn't even preheated yet. But it's getting there. So I've got this fettuccine, you guys. And I went to my grocery store, and it was buy one, get one free. And they were like $3.99 or $3.49, something like that. So I thought, well, that's a good deal. So I've got two of them. And they only took like, you know, like three minutes to cook. Let's see. Let me make sure. I opened the package and add pasta, a tablespoon of olive oil, water, gently boil for two minutes, stirring frequently. So um, I gotta get some olive oil in there. So I got a little bit in the in here still. I gotta refill them. I did buy some today. I bought some more, but that's good enough. So I'm gonna go and put that in there. I'm just gonna separate it a little bit so it's, it doesn't get like stuck even though I'm supposed to stir it often. There we go. What am I supposed to have the water boiling or? This is four quarts of boiling water. Reduce the heat and gen boil gently. Okay. Let's reduce it. Let's stir it around. So our meal is going to be very simple. Okay, what I'm going to make is something that was a little bit more elaborate, but I'm condensing it to make it like really easy. And um, I was watching some videos last night, late night, when I was laying in bed, trying to get sleepy, to fall asleep. And I saw somebody making a, a lobster roll. So they left me in that mood for a lobster. Uh, but we didn't get any lobster. Um, then I thought, oh, maybe some crab meat. And then I saw how much it was, and I was like feeling, no, we spent a lot of money. We've been going out to eat a lot and, and buying a lot of stuff. Christmas is coming. So I got this one instead, which is a little packet of imitation crab. And I used to use this a long time ago because we would go to Olive Garden, and they had this, uh, like an appetizer. It was called San Remo Dip. Dip? Yeah, okay. San Remo Dip, and it was like marinara sauce and had shrimp and some little crap pieces and there were this exact same item it wasn't like like real pieces of uh, crap it was this and um then it had like cheese and it was put in the oven i guess and so it came out of this little like little big little dish and then they gave us this little toast so we would just like spread it on the toast and it was so delicious to us so at the time i decided to sort of recreate what i thought would be the same flavors and uh, I didn't even look it up because I didn't think, oh, that's, the recipe was going to be online or anything. It was years ago. Uh, more than, I would say more than 10 years ago. But anyway, um, so I would make this and I would use a little shrimp. I would use this crab here. I would use mozzarella cheese. I think I used mushrooms. I think I added mushrooms. I'm not really sure about that, if I'm remembering correctly what I did. Uh, and then I used um, the marinara sauce. I already made marinara sauce. So then I would saute the shrimp because I would buy it, you know, uh, uncooked shrimp, little shrimp, cook it up, throw in some, you know, garlic, all those little yummy flavors into it. And then I throw the crab in there, toss it around with some butter, and then I add the marinara sauce and then the cheese. And that was my, my version of San Remo dip. So today when I was we were grabbing stuff, you know, I was like really tempted to get the crab meat. Um, but, you know, then I, I said, you know, why don't we just get this stuff? Remember I used to make that? My husband's like, yeah, that sounds good. Let's make that. And then, of course, I got the fettuccine, which I thought I already had some, but I'm glad I grabbed some more because I didn't have any. So I grabbed the fettuccine. I thought, why don't I make that and just make it really simple? You can leave out the shrimp and all the other bells and whistles out. Just make it like really simple with some Texas toast. That sounded good to him, so that's what I'm making tonight. We're keeping it really easy. We've got ourselves some geladas, some Bud Light mint geladas. They're made with clamato and lime and yummy little flavors in there. I'm having a little bit of a Coke right now, you guys. Okay, that was good. I feel very sleepy. 
Okay, so that I'm gonna make it right here on this, uh, on this, uh, what is this called? My induction cooktop. So I'm gonna make it on here. It's gonna make some noise. Oh, okay. So I've, stopped, I've chopped up some onion right here. Oh, I forgot to get the butter. And in all that talking, I forgot about my pasta. And I know it's been two minutes. Turn that off. Let me get my strainer. Where are you? Ta-da! Okay. Let me strain that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've strained it, but I've left a little bit of the water at the bottom, so it's not like really, really strained. And I have like a tablespoon of butter left over, so I'm gonna throw that right in there. And my seasonings here. Some salt. Let me get my spoon back over here. This is onion powder. See a little nut flying around. Okay, and this is garlic powder. Add some of that in there too. Oh, you know what I have? I have Italian seasoning. I'm gonna get some of that also. I'm gonna put this over to the side. I'm gonna put some pepper. I think I need to refill it. Yeah, almost. Put some pepper in there. This is all just ad lib, guys. I'm just creating this right here in front of you. This is not a <laughs> recipe that I've written down. I just, just kind of like see what I have, put it together. Sometimes I'm in the grocery store, and if I don't find like the specific ingredients for something, I just end up making whatever. So this is what I'm doing. This is the the cheap version of, of what started off as a craving for a lobster roll. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I opened that right now, but anyway, I need to, I need to open it. Okay, so I need to get my olive oil because I need some for my pot here. So I'm just stirring this around, let the butter melt, get all those flavors, my pasta, put it off to the side. Olive oil, gosh. Get a little bit of that. I'm just watching the timer on here because it stops at a certain time. There we go. This is gonna be quick. Ooh, it smells it smells yummy, and I love the sound of sizzling, you know, onions and the smell that you get from that. I'm gonna use the same. I was gonna say scissors. The same spoon. Can you see that? there. Okay, let me, let me move my little candle. Okay, so now I'm going to get some whole garlic here, a couple of cloves. I got this already, like, ready to use. Just chop it up however you want. In there. I don't want it to burn, so lower this. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, it smells so good. I love that smell. Can you smell it, honey? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can smell it. Okay, you guys. So I wanted some the the particular. Uh, recipe for that San Remo. So if you look it up, Olive Garden San Remo dip. Make your own, just like it says. It uses cream cheese, and I never knew that. It uses cream cheese and something else that was in there. I think heavy cream, and I forgot what else. Oh, the cheeses, because I used to use mozzarella cheese in there, but it's actually Parmesan Asiago cheeses, and the, obviously the cream cheese that I asked for in there. I just didn't know it had cream cheese until I get the recipe. But anyway, I'm not using that today. But I did get this uh, shredded three cheese blend, and in here is Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. So I've got all three of them here. I was actually gonna buy the three individuals and then buy, you know, like grate them myself, and then I saw that they were already grated. I always went for that, but I was gonna spend like another eight or nine dollars just on that. And 
uh, I wasn't going to use it all, so I don't want it to go to waste. I mean, um, I can obviously use it for some other time, but um, I wanted to come up with a recipe ASAP. I'm going to put this on low, actually. Okay, so I've already used my onion and my garlic. Simple ingredients. I'm going to put this back in the little baggie because you know how I tell you little gnats. I don't want that. I'm smelling that they come back. I'm like smelling all my yummies. Okay, so I just use a marinara sauce when I would do that, and it does ask for marinara sauce. But I, we decided to go with something different. Marinara is a little bit sweeter, kind of a sauce. If you're familiar with that. They had like a roasted uh, garlic one, and then they had this garden combo one. This is a little healthy. Uh, it's got omega 3s or whatever. But I like to get this one, it's my store brand. Grab whatever one you want to use if you want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to take all this. And I actually bought two packages of this, but I'm only going to use one because I feel like that's enough. That's, that's enough for the hub yummy. Wait, hold on. Before I put this on here, I'm going to look for my little plastic cutting board. I'll be back. Okay, so I got this. I got these at uh, the Dollar Tree. Little flexible cutting boards, and then you can just dump everything like that. Uh, but I also use it on my regular cutting board, so whatever flavors or meats or whatever I'm cutting doesn't get into the wood of my boards. So I just protect it by using that. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these up a little bit more. These already come in like chunks. I got the chunk ones. And this is like um, Alaskan pollock. Pull that out of the trash. It's right here in the little corner. This has crab meat in it, but it also has some other fish, like white fish. Well, I thought I read it somewhere. Huh. And it's fully cooked and ready to eat, so it's nice to eat in that cold, put it in a salad or something. But even on here in the picture, they have it, they have it over some uh, fettuccine. I don't know, you guys. Anyway, this little packet is 80 calories, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'm just chopping up a little bit more. Just so it all spreads out a little bit more. And I didn't touch my trash bag, I just touched the, the package. Otherwise, I'd be washing my hands right now again. Just chop it up. If you want to get those little, little shrimp, the little salad shrimps that are already cooked, and you're okay with those, you like them, throw them in there. But you're not going to cook it for very long because, you know, the shrimp and all this is already cooked. So we don't have to cook it. Okay, I'm going to pour this. Step back. I'm going to pour this. I think I'm just going to pour. Well, I might as well pour the whole thing. I was, was going to pour half, but. Oh. Usually I like to get the pasta so water, pour a little bit in here. And then, you know, like shake it up and get all the goodies out of there. And get the last bit of it out of there. But I'm not going to worry about it. Not this time. Okay, stir that around. Let's get that hot. Ooh, smells good. You know what? Also, because that candle is a pumpkin scent, so that uh, I can smell that. Okay, I'm gonna take a little quick break. Be right back. I'm gonna put some stuff away and restart my camera. Okay, so while I was putting some stuff away and I actually refilled my olive oil. Um, this has been heating up and it's bubbling up and I actually put up the heat so that it would hurry up because... And you guys, I almost forgot about my toast in the oven. I got it out in time. Look how toasty it looks. Otherwise it would have burned on me. Okay, so this is chopped up. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. My husband's hungry, you guys, so am I. He works so hard out there. So, he needs something yummy. Not too heavy, because, you know, we're having the bears. You get one out. Okay, so I actually got both of them out. Have them here ready. Okay, let me, let me put this in the sink because it needs to be washed. Don't buy the sink. Okay, and 
And I've got this nice cheese blend. Let's push this over a little bit and push this so you can see a little bit better. That smells so good. So good. I want this off to get like nice and hot. Okay, I'm gonna pour some of this cheese in it. And I'm just winging it, guys. Winging it. I think that's good. This was, this is six ounce. I don't think I even poured half, so it's like about two ounces of cheese in there. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more. I just wanna see this even, if this is like even a melty cheese. I don't think par Parmesan is. I believe Asiago is more like a creamier texture type of cheese and might uh, melt. I'm not sure about the Romano. But I know Parmesan is a little bit drier type of a, a cheese, so I'm not expecting, oh yeah, I see some, I see some little strings of cheese happening. Ah, ah, should have done that. Oh boy. My nice new top. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see some strings of cheese. Can you see them? Look at that. Oh, cheese strings happening. Okay, you guys. That is ready. Turn that off. Actually, off is over here. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Okay, so then I'm going to take the plates. Serve this up. Oh my goodness. Let me put one over here. So you can see the surfing. Okay. Look at that pasta. Yes. Fettuccine. I'm going to pour it. put this kind of on the side. I'm going to leave a little spacer for the toast. Some of it is sticky. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Serve up two plates of this yumminess. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Yummy. How was your weekend, guys? What do you What do you guys do on your weekends if you have the weekends off? I mean, uh, assuming that you do, maybe some of you have to work. Tell me about your day. Okay, I just do a little pain in there. Kind of want to serve it all because you know we're hungry. You're not saying I want any light, but we're not really. Okay, put it all in there. Okay, that's enough. Let me get the toast. Some on the side here. So we just needed one toast each because we got all these noodles anyway. All right, so then we're gonna take this. Look at that. Get it up close. You can see it up close. Okay. And put that on top. I could just let me get this little candle right next to this plate. Okay, there we go. Just pour it on top. All this yumminess. I mean, this could be, you know, three or four servings, you guys. Got a little carried away. <laughs> okay, so we can make three or four lighter servings. Okay, and we could actually get more cheese right here, just a little bit. Sprinkle on top, just so it looks really pretty. My goodness, here we go. That's what it looks like, you guys. This is our dinner. <sighs> smells delicious. Let me give mine a taste. I'm using a plastic fork. I'm gonna get a little bit of this crab. It's bugging me, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what I need? I need to pop open my, my beer. My chilada. My extra lime with clamato. Oh, that's gonna be perfect with this meal. Oh my goodness. There we go. Let me get a little pasta noodle here. <laughs> a nice stiff one there. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I think it's actually better like this on nice and well, semi-simple. Then adding the shrimp and then I would add, add, add to add cream cheese and all kinds of other stuff. 
but look that up. If I, if I remember to do so, I'll put the link so you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Maybe some of you have had that before. Apparently they don't serve it at Olive Garden anymore, but then again, I haven't been there in years, so I don't know. But anyway, you guys, this has been my weekend vlog. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the little presentation that I have for you today and that you enjoyed watching me cook my dinner and a little bit of chit chat. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up. Please leave a nice comment down below. Let me know about your weekends and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much for those of you who have been subscribing. Please make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I put up my videos, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. And once in a while, I have a weekend vlog. All right, you guys, make sure you share on your social medias and enjoy.